Good morning, El Segundo. It's Tuesday, July 28th. My name is Martha Guzman Hurtado. I'm the Communications and Legislative Affairs Manager for the City of El Segundo. We continue to monitor the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases. To date, the Los Angeles County Department of Public Health has identified 176,028 positive cases of COVID-19 across all areas of Los Angeles County and a total of 4,000 375 deaths. Our thoughts and prayers go out to everyone who's experienced a loss um, due to this virus. El Segundo has had 95 positive cases and currently has 19 active cases. We hope that you're all staying well out there. The Los Angeles County introduced a new set of three C's to underscore the ongoing need to protect the long-term health and well-being of residents and the workforce as we move forward in the recovery journey. The three C's are compliance, containment, and collaboration. Under compliance, businesses must comply with the health officer orders and implement the strict infection control practices and distancing guidelines to protect the workforce and the public. Residents must continue to wear face coverings, maintain physical distancing, avoid gatherings with people they don't live with, and continue washing their hands and cleaning high-touch surfaces. Under containment, adequate testing and case investigations are critical tools to contain the spread. The Department of Health Services has announced testing testing capacity has expanded to over 65% to serve communities hardest hit by COVID-19. Case interviews and contact tracing of people who tested positive or exposed or isolating and quarantining must continue. Businesses and employers must do their part and alert the department uh, to outbreaks at their work sites. For collaboration, collaborating across all sectors and government is imperative to ensure clear messages to the public and unity in strategies for reopening with as much safety as possible. The City of El Segundo will be launching a Wearing is Caring campaign to bring awareness to the importance of wearing a face covering to slow the spread of COVID-19. As part of the campaign, you will see enhanced messaging including banners on Main Street and signs posted throughout the city. The campaign will also include the distribution of free face coverings. You can pick up a free face covering at the Farmer's Market this Thursday, July 30th. The stresses of COVID-19 are real and very different for everyone. If you are feeling stressed, depressed, or anxious, there is help out there for you. The city of El Segundo cares about you and your mental health. If you need help or someone to talk to, support is just a phone call or a text away. Please reach out to the LA County Crisis Line at 1-800-854-7771. Again, that number is 1-800-854-7771 or text LA to 741-741. The Recreation and Parks Department reopened the El Segundo Skate Park on Monday. That's at 405 East Grand Avenue. Uh, they opened it up for a one-week trial period with modified hours Monday through Saturday, 10 to 5 p.m. The skate park will be limited to six users at a time and reservations are required. Reservations can be made by an adult at ESREC. Dot org. That's srec.org. Hopefully by now you've had the opportunity to experience the city's expanded outdoor dining options on Main Street and Richmond Street. The city has been working to help restaurants increase their dining capacity and align with the LA County Public Health Officer Order. Staff continues to work with businesses throughout the city to meet outdoor requests for dining and other services. The El Segundo Police Department resumed parking enforcement yesterday on Monday, July 27th. We appreciate your cooperation with this effort. The deadline to apply for the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Commission is this Friday, July 31st at 5 p.m. To apply, please visit the city's website at elsegundo.org and click on the city's news, news item on the homepage. The city council recently established the commission as their commitment to ensuring everyone who lives, works, or visits El Segundo feels welcome. The Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Commission will have the opportunity to continue to engage the community, evaluate current policies, and offer its recommendations to to the city council. For more information and the latest city related news, visit our city's website at elsegunda.org or follow us on Facebook. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a safe day.